So today is day 47. And one of the things that bothers me the most, and it's I'm really nitpicking actually, and that is as I'm talking to you and looking into the screen, if I look at the numbers, I feel like I'm not looking at you. And that's the hardest part is finding that sweet spot so that I feel like I'm connecting to you and, and sharing my story with you. Meaning looking like I look okay and not like I have a glassy eye and I'm staring off into nowhere land. It's really nitpicking. And as a video editor, one of the things that disturbs me the most is, is when a person isn't looking at you um, in the camera, uh, you know, unless there's some cinema verite thing going on, but that's just me. And um, dealing with this as a person who, who um, is visually critiquing and looking at other folks um, as they are uh, producing whatever story they are in front of the camera. I'm a behind the scenes kind of woman. And um, this is just one of those things, um, accepting the fact that I am a visual artist who has had this circumstance of something being wrong with my eye. And then now documenting it and being reminded of it every time I look in the mirror and every time I look into the camera or the phone for that matter um, and sharing my story that I see that the glassy eyed look in my eye and then I think about other people looking at me and how that that might be distracting to them and not wanting to to be that um, but this is where I am and I I hope that it will get better I hope that it would get as much back to normal as possible but I don't know um the result, the complete results of it. Um, the best case scenario is, is it the healing process goes back to normal. The worst case scenario is I can't see out of it at all. But right now I can see. It's just the clarity isn't there. And I still have that bubble there. And it's day 47. And that's a long time. 40 days and 40 nights, the flood, you know? But here I am um, trying to be in a place of accepting that this is part, this is, excuse me, part of the healing process. So this is where I am. I'm at the point where I'm looking at myself and seeing how this eye, the one I had a vitrectomy on it, is looks kind of glassy and um, I know that things could be worse. I truly do. And I wish I could have plugged in my headsets. See? There are so many different things that happen and you get caught up in. And that recording, it was fresh. It was from my heart. It's unscripted. And that's what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to deliver messages where it's real. It's me saying what it is that I'm struggling with, that I'm, you know, pressing through, that I'm pulling my bootstraps up. If you, you know, uh, do I have any bootstraps on my boots? I don't know. Um, just so that I can get through each day as I heal more and more. So this is where I am. This is what I'm doing. This is what I will continue to do. And that is share what I know and be there if possible for anyone that might want to reach out to me. So if that's the case, you know where to find me. DM me, message me. And I will, I will just, you know, just be as honest as I can about it. Well, uh, I will be checking again. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, I don't want to forget this because I think it is so important to wish you love, light, and most of all, joy.